In this video clip, we see the fed motor pattern of the jejunum. The blue arrow indicates the aboral direction of the loop. Stationary contractions are the dominant feature of the digestive period. They are interrupted by a peristaltic wave propelling the chyme over a short distance aborally. Segmenting contractions continue afterwards. These separate the chyme into boli and cause mixing. The segmenting contractions occur irregularly in time and space. Besides segmenting contractions, you can see repetitive short peristaltic waves occurring at the same place. These represent clustered contractions. Clustered contractions often occur simultaneously at adjacent intestinal segments. Some clusters slowly migrate aborally and cause a slow aboral transport of chyme. Thus, the fed motor pattern is a mixture of segmenting contractions, stationary and migrating clustered contractions, and single peristaltic waves. The segmenting and clustered contractions cause an intense mixing of the chyme associated with slow aboral transport. However, the major aboral propulsion of chyme is caused by single, long peristaltic waves occurring at irregular intervals and propelling the chyme some centimeters distally. As you can see, postprandial motility is like a puzzle. You can attempt to classify segmenting contractions clustered contractions and peristaltic waves. While peristaltic waves can be easily recognized, segmenting and clustered contractions are often difficult to distinguish in the fluoroscopic picture because they occur simultaneously at various sites.